The first thing we will do is add this code to the top of our blog post and next have a look at our API key. In other videos on the subject of using Google's APIs, we have used OAuth 2.0. However, in this case, that won't work. So we will be using an API key instead of OAuth. To obtain that API key, you will need to head over to your cloud console. Now you will need to modify your blogger template and add links to jQuery and Google JavaScript files. Now you can go back to your blogger page and refresh it. Now look for the object to be returned from the API. Be sure to check out some of our other videos on this topic, and if you found it helpful, give it the thumbs up or subscribe.